stepping over from the bench right now and for good. That's what was said of Inkster Judge Sylvia James at a public hearing today. Seven Action News investigator Bill Proctor broke the story that led to today's hearing before the Judicial Tenure Commission. Bill, what happened today? 30 minutes for each side to make their point today. The JTC heard from both sides about accusations that James misspent Inkster court funds and then lied to those investigating her. The JTC executive director said that she should not only be removed from Inkster's district court, but said she should pay an $81,000 fine. A judge who lies under oath is not fit to be a judge. The commission, therefore, should make that recommendation to the Supreme Court. That's just one of the major sanctions the examiner or prosecutor in the case against Judge Sylvia James tried to convince members of the JTC to recommend to the state Supreme Court as punishment for years of alleged financial misconduct. Judge James' defense has primarily been the same from the onset, that the four JTC counts charged were rooted in disputes with officers and managers of the city of Inkster, especially the mayor she opposed on several issues. What brought this to light was a political situation. A major issue was James' use, or misuse, of community service funds, money collected by the court from people who did work in the community instead of being locked up in the county jail. She wrote checks to charities, her lawyer says, so punishment is not appropriate. Even if they were from the wrong account, they were found to be for public purpose, and they were appropriate payments. She set herself up as the Queen of Inkster and woe unto anyone who dared cross her. But Fisher continued, James used the bench to fatten the account balance so that she could use the money to enhance her standing in Inkster. Now, if she had wanted to support any of these organizations using her own money, that's great. But taking somebody else's money, giving it away without lawful authority, I mean, that's not even being Robin Hood. Judge James took from the poor ordering people who were so desperate to stay out of jail to pay to participate in a program to do so. And then she took that money and gave it to her pet organizations. The Judicial Tenure Commission will make a recommendation to the state Supreme Court about James in the coming weeks. Then the High Court is expected to decide her fate by the middle of July. Bill Proctor, 7 Action News. Thank you, Bill.